Uh, yeah, we, we talked about it at halftime. We, you know, we were getting shots, but they weren't quality shots. Um, you know, they weren't really on frame. They were either sailing over high or missing the spot. Is that a credit to their defense a little bit? Or yeah, we um, we, t- we talked at length in practice that, that this is a very important team that you can't give up the first goal. <laughs> let, let alone two. Yeah, in, in gave the up the only goal last time. And, and um, because as soon as they do, they, they have a very strong defense. And, and they start the game with only three backs, and that's when you want to take advantage of them. Because as soon as they do get that lead, they start adding more and more defensively because they can afford to because they have that speed up top. And um, so it, it, it certainly did have a lot to do with their defense. Um, but, yeah, we, we weren't really getting dangerous chances on their net. Um, and, again, it did have a lot to do with their defense. And we weren't, we weren't sharp today. Of course, that has a lot to do with Winchester. They're, they're, they're a very good team. But I, I, I told the girls at halftime, it, it, we picked a bad time maybe to play our worst half. I thought we played our worst half of soccer. We just we didn't have that energy. We weren't going in hard for 50-50 balls. Again, you know, it has something to do with the opponent. But uh, I thought we were capable of a lot more. They're one of the only teams you've played that's as fast as you. I don't know if they were faster, but they kind yeah, of that, that, that was definitely the fastest team we've played this yeah. year. Um, you know, speed's tough. Um, yeah, but we're fast too. Like you said, we're, we're they're probably as fast as us. But yeah, I think 24 and Libby had a couple. Yeah, of 24 is fast and, and nine. I don't, I don't even think nine really got a chance to show off for speed. But we saw her, saw her the other night. And she's super fast too. Yeah, they have good team speed all over at every position on the field. And uh, you know the two girls, the two goals early. You know that's that's a really hard yeah. hole to dig out. Of. Did you feel like the third one was almost the toughest one? It seemed like I, I don't know how that ball managed to get through because you had kids in position. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that third one was a backbreaker, certainly. And at that point, we were playing much better. We were defending better. I can't remember what minute it came in, um, but that was a tough one because I figured if we could go in at two zero at halftime or even get one. I thought we'd be back in this game. And even when we got the penalty kick um, and it got to 3-1, to one, I thought we were really just that one goal away from from possibly getting back in this. You know, credit them. Their defense hung tight. Um, and we just can, didn't get the chances that we would get in, in all, all the other games we've gotten this year. It's a tremendous season. I mean, what do you say about the older girls? That, that yeah, the seniors are great. Year. I mean... You know they're going to look back on this a couple days from now, maybe a couple, maybe a couple weeks from now, and realize uh, they went they played in three North Finals, yep. back to back to back. They won the program's only state title, which which is incredible, and it just says a lot about the seniors. They're they're uh, first of all they're fantastic players, but they're leaders. Um, they're unselfish. I told the girls 20 years of coaching, this is the most unselfish team I've ever had. It's like. Stats didn't matter, you know, who scored goals, it didn't matter. They were so unselfish, and that, that's a pleasure to be around. Um, but it, the, the, the seven seniors, the two senior managers as well, just great, great kids. We're, we're going to miss them. Is that the first group that's been to three in a row? I know you've been to two before, but I can't remember. Yeah, probably. I don't think we've ever been to three in a row. I mean, some of the kids coming back, I mean, not like Byzantine, that's a lot to build on for the next few years. Yeah, we, oh, we, we plan on... You know, we'll, 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 we'll give it our best shot again next year. We, we're, gonna, we're not certainly going to rebuild. We plan to reload. It's nice know. to have Byzantium for three more years, too. It's nice to have all those girls yeah. for, for, for more years. Nice to have a few others that, uh, that you're looking forward to. I look forward to having them all back. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, but the hard part right now is, you know, you got to say goodbye to uh, those seniors, yeah. which is tough, because uh, we care about them. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they've... They've given so much to the program, and uh, I'm proud of them. They're, and I'm, I feel lucky to have gotten the chance to coach them. For those seniors, do they do you feel that they have a sense of what it's like to be back at these big games again? And definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, every girl that played in the state final last year, I felt kind of had an edge coming through the tournament because they know what it takes. They know what it takes, and um, until you actually get over the hump and get that, you really don't understand it. So I felt like they had, sort of had that understanding this year, but. It's hard. It's really hard to get there. Um, if, if you get there, it's hard to win it. I mean, everything needs everything needs to fall into place. You got to stay healthy. We stayed healthy for the most part this year. We had some injuries today, but um, you know, you got to be healthy. You got to catch some breaks here and there, and um, and at the same time, you got to be playing really high-level soccer against the best competition in the state. It's not easy to do, and 
the fact that they got this close and it says a lot. This this was a really good team this year. Thanks, Coach.